today on Karamo. You think he mistreats you because he thinks you're not his son. And I don't even know what to say, I'm just speechless. Ricardo says he desperately needed his father. She was murdered. Today, these two men are going to let all of their true feelings out. So you're feeling like he steals from you? And air out 34 years of emotion. You are a hypocrite. Boy, if you ever sit here Daddy, you are a hypocrite. hypocrite. But are these two men actually father and son? This is your to see. Okay. Don't miss how the DNA outcome will change Ricardo's life. I'm done. Cut the show. I'm done. Plus, it was a relationship that started out hot. What would this mean? This means the sex was good after that first one. <laughs> I know. It was. I know. It was. But what will happen to this relationship? If he's cheating on me, I'm not going to be with him anymore. OK. <laughs> after Reggie's phone is unlocked. <laughs> Ricardo wants to solve a 34-year-old DNA mystery. He has noticed none of his other siblings are suffering from the wrath of the man who he believes is his father, and he desperately wants to know why. Recently, Horace took a DNA test for another child that wasn't his. So Ricardo thinks this all comes down to the painful reality that Horace might not be his biological father. So everyone, please help me welcome Ricardo to the show. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Can I have a hug? Yes. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. So please, Ricardo, tell me, um, how was life growing up? Uh, I would say that it was it kind of rough. What was your father doing? Traveling. Um, his mom raised us. So he was absent? Yeah. OK. Because you raised yourself, is what you said, to my producers. Yeah. In what Basically. way? Um, like, helping with my brothers and sisters, doing whatever he may have been doing. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. I see the confusion because you're like, it seems like you don't even have the answers to what was going on back then when you were a kid. No, I don't. You just know that you were alone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who did you stay with exactly again? My grandmother. So you stayed with, was that his, his mother? Mm -hmm. Okay. And was she older? Yes. So grandma tried to step in and do the best she could, but she was older at that time. She was in her 40s or That ain't 50s. old. You tried it. Look, I think about 50 though. Yeah, I think about uh, I think about up in her fifties though. He just tried it, didn't he? I'm yeah. messing with you. Yeah, I'm messing with you. But I get it. So the thing was, is that at that age, she had already raised her kids. In your point of view. Yes. Yes. Okay. She then. only had one child. Oh, she, yeah. She only had one Him. child. Okay. So when did you start living with your father then? At the age of I would say ten. At ten. So when from... she was murdered. Oh, that's when she was murdered. I'm so sorry to hear mm -hmm. that. Okay. So how? Was your father abusive to you? Not really. He chastised us. But okay. as I got older, he began to put his hands on me. OK. Did he ever apologize to you for any of this? No. Nothing. It's always been excuses. Mm. And how many other siblings did you have? 11 of us total. Oh, there's 11 of you total. Yes, he has 11 kids. And what would they say to the way that he treated you? I couldn't say that. Yeah. They never comforted you and they never said anything about what they witnessed? Um, me and my brothers have talked about a lot of things and they do agree with me on how he has mistreated me and how I was done wrong. And just like last week, I was um, talking to a brother and he said that he think that it's too late to restore our relationship. Mm. Do you have a hard time trusting others? I do. And what do you think that stems from? My mom. So why weren't you raised with her? She was doing her too. Your parents were off doing their own thing. So what do you want most from him today? What I want from him is I want him to be a father. I want him to be receiving of corrective criticism. Got it. He needs to understand that I am 34 years old and I no longer have no more fight in me to keep allowing the people to hurt me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't do it no more. Yeah, you take this. So I have to let go. Yeah, you're tired of fight. I don't have any more fight in me. Yeah. And I don't even know what to say. I'm just speechless. I get it. I hear you. Yeah.
You're looking for more love and validation now at this point in your life. Um, and you wanted the DNA test today because you think he mistreats you because he thinks you're not his son. Is right. that it? It's cause that's, I feel as though I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Years of mistreatment. And he doesn't treat your other siblings like this, right? I've never seen him do them like that. Yeah. Yeah. But love is not a word. It's an action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to show it. Yeah. Well, I think, I think it's time to hear from Horace about the situation. So I want to meet your father. Could mm -hmm. be your father. We're going to take that DNA test later. Yeah. Um, so Horace, come on out. Good, good, good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Take a seat for me. So, is there anything about what he is saying that is true in your opinion? Well, um, I think it's half true. You can't be a parent to someone who's absent. He was out of the house, therefore you couldn't be a father? It's a man who wanted more from his father. I didn't feel as though I was loved. But is there something else behind this whole situation? Do you have a problem with his sexuality? How was life growing up? I would say that it was kind of rough as I got older. He began to put his hands on me. Okay. Did he ever apologize to you for any of this? No. You think he mistreats you because he thinks you're not his son? Yeah. It's cause I feel as though I'm not. Is there anything about what he is saying that is true in your opinion? Well, I think it's half true. I'm probably one of the coolest fathers that you'll ever see. Okay. Um, raising six children on my own, uh -huh. starting in 10th grade, um, being a child when I first got my first two children. Yeah. And then as time went on and I had to get the other four, you can't be a father to a child who's not present. If you're not in the house and you're steadily going to programs, not because of nothing I've done, but because of the choices you make, you can't be a parent. Mm -hmm. You can't be a parent to someone who's absent. Okay. So you feel like he was out of the house, and so that's therefore you couldn't be a father? Is that what you're saying? Or you were out of the house? No. What I'm saying, him going to programs, getting in trouble in school, okay. and being away keeps me from being that nurturing, that loving father that he needs, because I couldn't, I couldn't go all, yeah. all, all over the state of Florida to, yeah, to but. try to find him and just be there for him. Uh -huh. I mean, I love all my kids the same. There's no different kid. Yeah. You love I each acted one different. out, though, and because I didn't feel as though I was loved, and so, that's the truth. So like, you, there's did, no lying. Did you that's raise him? I raised him and his brothers. Too. Okay. Because he says the first 10 years of his life, more so, he lived with your mother. We did. That's not true, because what happened was when I got custody of them, my mother stepped in because me being a teenager. So how old were you when you had him? 16. 16. OK. And, it, and he's not your first. So at 16, you already had two? Yes. OK. Got it. OK. And so 16 to 26, I, I understand. So you're going through your own things. You're trying to figure out your own life. He's craving his mother's validation and love. Was she 16 as well? She was? Yeah. And so you just want your parents around during that time. Right. So you were there, but you couldn't fully be there because you were younger. Right. I was in high school. Yeah. OK. And you know, just going to school, trying to be a parent. I mean, learning how to be a parent mm -hmm. early age. But at least I did step up to the plate to get them. Mm -hmm. I could have just let them go into foster care or go into the care of the state. But I stepped okay. up. So what exactly were you doing as a young father, a young teenager, from your opinion? Well, I was, I was going to school, um, just pretty much trying to live and didn't be a parent. Um, you know, I was doing, I was dancing for r rap groups, going in, town, going in and out of town. OK. And my oh, mother, that's where the traveling yeah, comes from. Yeah, that's where the traveling yeah. comes from. Got it. Um, doing concerts, and my mother would but step in. But he was in. never present, though. Got it. Because yes, he yes, was yes. always gone. So, he doesn't understand that that is a void that I still live with, but I no longer live with as of today. Got like, it. that won't happen. Yeah. Like, what, what does Ricardo accuse you of? 
Huh? What does Ricardo accuse you of? He accused me, he accuses me of not loving him, not doing for him like I do for the rest of the children. Mm -hmm. um, mainly he thinks because of his sexuality. I love all my kids regardless of who they are or what they decide to do. I support all my kids in whatever they choose to do. But you've called me out of my name. I was all types of <laughs> um, <laughs> But that's the truth, Dad. Like, there's no justifying it. Like, uh, that's not love. Do you have a problem with his sexuality? This situation is about to take a dramatic turn. So you're feeling like he steals from you? You are a hypocrite. Or well, if you ever sit here daddy, and you are a hypocrite. hypocrite. But are these two men actually father and son? My daddy don't care about me for real. Don't miss the shocking answer. This is yours to see. OK. always gone. He doesn't understand that that is a void that I still live with, but I no longer live with as of today. I love all my kids regardless of who they are. But you've called me out of my name. Uh, that's not love. Do you have a problem with his sexuality? I don't have a problem with his sexuality. I have a problem with it when he gets overboard. He starts doing things, saying things that he shouldn't say. When I come back with the lashing of the tongue, it's because of the words that he said. See, it takes two to have those things. I'm only going to take so much of you talking to me any kind of way. I'm the parent. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that the parent is right, but I'm just saying you have to respect your parent. Mm -hmm. And you have I to be careful what you say you, because when you be, always be ready to handle the heat in the kitchen right. if you're going to throw the heat out. Right. Got it. So why don't, but, but as his father, why don't you just walk away then when he starts to get it? Because we understand, and you're a very smart man, when kids lash out because they're going through pain. I was a young father as well, so my child was born when I was 16. So I understand that there are moments where like, even now, there's only a 15-year difference. And so when he says stuff to him, sometimes I, look, I see a grown man. I'm looking at him like, <laughs> if he was on the street, it'd be a different situation. But I have to click myself into, I'm the father. So your words are coming from a state of pain. You're in, there's something that's hurting you from what, something in your childhood, from your mother, something that's hurting you, so I can't match your pain. So why don't you, in those moments when he hits, as you said, brings the heat in the kitchen, why don't you just walk out the kitchen? Why don't you just say, let me walk away? Well, I'm not that guy. Got it. I'm not that guy. And I'm not either, and that's the thing. Like, yes, he is my parent, but he has not been the role model as a father. How did it make you feel that he wanted the DNA test? Well, I was shocked. Yeah. But at the end of the day, um, a DNA test does not make him not my son. Have your other kids talked about him to you? Not really. There has been conversations because in March, somebody made a statement of a life insurance policy that automatically drew up more anger towards him. Mm -hmm. And because now I feel as though you're going to other siblings of mine are talking about my personal business yeah. when that's not their business. Got it, got it. Got and it. it was under the impression that that would be my policy. Mm -hmm. So he's been having me pay that policy. Mm. And So you're feeling like he steals from you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because I am not the policy holder. He's the policy holder. I have asked my dad to change over the policy. He won't even release the policy to me. How, how does that I'm make paying the money. And but he's it telling doesn't me, make me feel no way because he know his no. situation. He can't get insurance unless he's up under me. Period. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We don't want to put your business out there, son. Yeah. So please remain. Please, See? please oh, keep that's it. What I'm saying. No, mm -hmm. I'm just saying you don't want your business out it's there. So good, understand. Though, because understand at the, end the reason of the day, that you. The reason Daddy, that I have the policy. It doesn't have nothing to do with no son, business. You're stealing from me I, because I'm paying. I'm paying my money, my money. So you just no recently stopped paying your insurance. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because you won't release the policy. And they say you can give me the policy. No, they didn't. I talked to the son, people. I know what the man sat down and told Daddy, me. Daddy, son, you are a hypocrite, and that's well, what well, it well, is. Well, the like, thing is, if you ever sit Daddy, here and call you me are a hypocrite. hypocrite. You done cheated on your now, nah, Daddy. Come on now. So hold on. So hold on. Yeah, okay. yeah come so on now. I see it. Yeah, I see come it. on now. I okay. see it, Jack. You, you're the problem. No, 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 no. no. Yes, no, you are the problem. Let me tell you right you now. You are the problem. My son. So first of all, 
None of that is for yeah, anybody's he's business. Dead. Secondly, I saw exactly what happened. He's nasty. I told you. But your pain, yeah. which I understand your yeah. pain, mm -hmm. and I acknowledge your pain, mm -hmm. but I do understand mm -hmm. how I, I saw the breakdown happen yeah. in real time mm -hmm. that we just talked about before. Yeah. Of like, I'm gonna, you're saying, let's not go there, mm -hmm. let's stay calm. Yeah. And you're like, no, nah, I'm gonna keep pushing you. I'm gonna keep no. pushing you. Not how I, he talked to me. But in this case, not I'm how watching he talked it. To me. But I saw what happened in real time. Well, he I wasn't talking no to you. He wasn't talking disrespectful. And I'm not saying, I, I saw where your pain was, I saw yeah. your pain bubbling up. He I saw what your he's pain. Done to me. He do. I want to know from you, can you acknowledge? My daddy don't care about me for real, sir. And that's it. Like, I after actually, I leave I actually, here today, actually, he will be blocked. I actually no, he disagree with that. How? I actually disagree. Uh, tell me how. Because uh, tell me how. I don't say that there's not dysfunction here. I'm I believe good. there's dysfunction. I believe y'all got into a pattern of He's going to hurting each what other. He stole, sir. I promise you. But I also will. saw the breakdown in communication. Mm -hmm. I saw him say I can't several times. With him, I do believe that you should have still walked away. Yeah. I saw. I, I saw you get to him. your point. Did we yeah. all see it? That doesn't. Hurt we all my saw, feelings. right? It don't hurt my feelings. Because like, I didn't ask for what I got. I know. So but it don't matter. I think, but as, I'm as, healthy, as you're trying, so it don't matter to, as, what as you're you trying to heal yourself, I'm good on him. As though. you're trying to heal, I'm good on him, and I'm telling him that to your face. I'm good on you. Well, the then, relationship well, let's figure as out. Of today, let's figure this out because yeah. I think the thing is, is if you're saying that you are done with your father, um, it's yeah. what you least need to know if he is your father yeah. or not. So this has That's the good. DNA results to show yeah. this is your father or not. Yeah, he all does right? that all the time though. So, yeah. This is yours to see. Okay. Don't go away. Take me off. Cut the show. And don't miss how the DNA outcome will change Ricardo's life. I'm done. Cut the show. I'm done. You are the fire. Get off my stage. When I come back with the lashing of the tongue, it's because of the words that he said. I'm only gonna take so much of you talking to me any kind of way. I'm the parent. Yes, he is my parent, but he has not been the role model as a father. How did it make you feel that he wanted the DNA test? I was shocked. A DNA test does not make him not my son. This has the DNA results to show if this is your father or not. This is yours to see. Okay. Yeah, he is my biological father. Okay. Yeah. And it's all good. And because I did this for my releasing. Yeah. I will no longer let him hurt me. I have a lot of anger towards him, but I still love him. But one thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let him disrespect me. I understand that. Period. I understand that. I understand he didn't that. raise me, period. We have confirmed that this is your father. Yeah. Horace, this is my question for you. Yeah. Are, would you be able to commit to to walking away? Because I saw, this is a thing now. Now, I saw what happened. I saw where you yeah. tried to say for about two minutes, um, and this is not taking away your pain. Let me be I'm very good. clear. I see your pain, I'm I understand good. what you're going through. <laughs> but good. I also understand, I'm and I'm looking good. from you to father to father. I'm I saw good. you get to a place where you're just like, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do that. And then you said, okay, we're gonna go there. Can you commit to in those moments when you hit your moment, just walk away. Because in this moment, even if you would have got up and just walked off, then he wouldn't have felt the embarrassment. He wouldn't have felt whatever he's feeling, the disrespect, that I, I could have probably broken through. But uh -uh. right now, there's no breakthrough for me because what happened is that any wall that was, break, was, was down got built right back up. Oh, that's it. And so now he goes mm -hmm. right into the attitude, and he's mimicking your attitude. You know yeah, that, right? This it. is, this, he I'm mimics your child, attitude. So he's, no. But can but you commit to that with him? What? Can you commit to like when he, you feel like he's getting you to a point, when you feel that way, I'm not saying you are, but when you feel like he's getting to a point where you feel like you gotta respond, I can just you just commit to myself. just walk away? It's the pain of a child feeling lost, isolated, alone, confused. That's all I'm hearing. And it turned into an adult who's still lost, isolated, confused. <laughs> and you're his father. You're his father. And as his father, you, you gave him this pain, unfortunately, because of the absence, but, and so you're not gonna fully be able to heal it, but for him to have 
What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Talk to me. I'm done. Cut the show. I'm done. Take me off. Take me off. Cut the show. Can, can you make that commitment for him? No. Can you make that no, commitment? No, I don't want it. I can't hear. I do not want it. Against against my wishes, against my family's wishes. I, don't want I it. came to the show because he wanted closure. I don't want it. I came because I do love him. <laughs> no, he does regardless not. Regardless of the outcome. I'm done. I don't want it. Regardless of the outcome. I got it. Whatever happens from this point forth. I'm good. Moving forward, I'm good. You're going to have to reconcile when you're ready and if you're ready to do that. But it sounds like right now you've decided that you want to let go. I will be blocking think, him when I get back there. Which I think, uh, I think for you, yeah. whatever choice you need to make that's going to make to. you feel healthy. And for the better of my life, I have to make that choice. And I respect that choice. You have the choice to say, I'm going to commit to doing better, or you got to walk away too. He's already setting the boundary. But if you really want your son and you don't want to like end up one day not having your son, you got to make the commitment. Do you want to commit to try to do in the work and maybe one day he'll be open or do you want to walk away? I could commit. Whether he does the work or not, as long as I do the work, the door is open. Well, um, that's good. Listen, I appreciate y'all both being here. May I have a hug? Because I'm sorry for what you got. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Listen, um, I wish y'all the best of luck. Seriously, I really do. Everyone, stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with more. It was a relationship that started out hot. What would this mean? This means the sex was good after that first yeah. <laughs> I know. It was. I know. It was. But what will happen to this relationship? If he's cheating on me, I'm not going to be with him anymore. OK. After Reggie's phone is unlocked. Hey, friends. So my guest, Cherish, had a one-night stand with Reggie. The next day, he told her he had a pregnant girlfriend. But Cherish stayed with him anyway. In fact, they got engaged. But Cherish says she still isn't the only woman in his life because Reggie will occasionally text his wife whenever they argue. What? Yeah, you heard me, his wife. But now Cherish wants me to unlock his phone. So everyone, please welcome Cherish to the show. Hi, Cherish. How you doing, man? Have a hug? Yeah. So cute. How you doing? I'm good. Come on, inches. You better put it behind the couch. <laughs> I and had to. Bam. I had to. <laughs> you look good with Thank it. Thank you. Okay, so I just read that. You have a crazy love story. Uh, more than crazy, I tell you. Tell me about that. I'll tell you. So, really, I didn't stay with him after we met the first day, okay? He came, he picked me up. I was bored. Um, he, it was. I'm sorry. You fine. I got, I got nervous. You fine. <laughs> but, um... Because I also know what this means. This means the sex was good after that first yeah. time. <laughs> I know. It was. I know. It was. He I put know. it on me. He did. He put it on me. He's funny. He smells great. He dresses great. I love that man. Yeah. I'm, I loved him from the first day I've met him. Okay. I really have. Okay. But like you said, he told me the next day after we were done that uh, he had a pregnant girlfriend. Mm. And so I left him alone after that. I really did. Six months down the line, I'm still single. I'm on a dating site. He hit me with, I miss you. And of of course, like you said, the sex was good, so I missed him too. <laughs> and so he came, he came over, I cooked some breakfast, but he did it again. He was like, I'm still with my baby mama. She about to have our baby now. I'm uh, like, what? So why has your relationship been toxic outside of the lies, obviously? Well, because right now it's at the point where it's a back and forth. He thinks it's a tit and tat type of thing, mm. since of all the stuff that he's been doing. But I'm not a cheater. I don't. That's not who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a monogamous person. I do what I want when I'm single. Yes. Okay. But when I'm in a relationship, that's just that's I only have eyes for you. I respect that. So then, how did you get back in contact? So this was in 2020. March of 2020, we met. That happened. October of 2020, we met up again. And. By December, it was a mess again because I started entertaining another dude at that time. Mm, and okay. he was still in the relationship with his baby mama and I'm entertaining another dude and then I ended up getting pregnant. Oh. 
And so I, I had a baby, and um, in the midst of that, he also meets up with an old friend of his, and they get married. That was in um, March of 2021. So he married someone different, not the pregnant woman. Not the pregnant woman. Got it. My producers told me that you're supposed to get married um, next April. Yes. But he's still married. Uh, no, he well, he's in the process of getting divorced. Okay, now I understand. One hundred percent. So what happened one month after you have made it official? Well, which one? There's a <laughs> couple of them. Okay, so he called me. He like, babe, can you bring me up some food? It's the middle of the night. He works at Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, babe, I got you. You know, get up in the middle of the night, cook him some food. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm in the parking lot. His stupid ass, okay, for thinks he's hanging up the phone, but he actually merges the calls, and his wife is on the phone, too. And so we both on the phone like, Reggie, is you serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, we going off. And he like, uh, 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 uh. And then he get in the car with me. He, when he get nervous, he laughs. So now he laughing. Now I'm pissed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm crying. He like, please don't cry. I really love you. And I'm just like. What do you do with the food? I, I, My fat ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here worried about, like, what you do with the food, girl? Because I would have thrown it out. You done made me mad. Uh, yeah, like, I, I gave it to him. You gave it to him I still. gave it to okay. him still, okay. yeah. Okay, you still yeah. still? Okay. Yeah. So there's a text message between you and Reggie that I want to show everyone. I want you to explain this to me. Um, so this is on August 9th. Yes. Uh, meat shells, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, onion, sour cream, juice box. Juice box. Now you see that these are a couple, an hour and a half apart, okay? Yeah, hour and a half Listen, he, he's saying that when he's saying, can I get some, he's off at this point. He's going to football practice with his uh -huh. son. He's off. He's away from me. He says that he's talking about, can he get some of my juice box? But I really feel like he was texting somebody else, can he get some? <laughs> Wow, really, like, Reggie? I was like, you, and, so, and then I called him three minutes later. He not answering. So I'm texting him like, wow, really, Re I knew you were cheating. Like, because before then, he was trying to say that I'm cheating. I'm not a cheater. Karamo, he, think, he probably think I had sex with you. Oh. Like, that's how, that's how much he accuses me. I mean, we, we make I a cute mean, couple. We, were, we, we were. make a cute couple, girl. Yeah. We make, uh, we make better kiki yeah. buddies, yeah. but, yeah. Uh, you know, we kiki, <laughs> but. Well, listen, before we unlock his phone, let's speak to Reggie, because I want to know his side of the story. So everyone, please welcome Reggie to the show. <laughs> Reggie has always found it easy to pick up women. Meet a chick, I'll pick her up. By the end of the night, she's in my bed. And he's about to get brutally honest. I'd rather cheat first. Do you really want to get married to Cherish? But what will happen to this relationship? We're about to unlock your phone. After Reggie's phone is unlocked. You are the fuck. You're a fuck fool. I loved him from the first day I've met him, but uh, he had a pregnant girlfriend. In the midst of that, he also meets up with an old friend of his and they get married. He called me, he like, babe, can you bring me up some food? It's the middle of the night. Get up in the middle of the night, cook him some food. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm in the parking lot. Thinks he's hanging up the phone, but he actually merges the calls and his wife is on the phone too. And so we both on the phone like, Reggie, is you serious? You know what I'm saying? Like, we going off. Before we unlock his phone, let's speak to Reggie, because I want to know his side of the story. Okay, well, how are you doing? How are you doing? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Take a seat for me. So, yeah. Reggie, I want to know. You look fly, by the way. Thank you. OK. Thank you. So how do you feel about what Cherish had to say? Um, uh, I mean, like, it's just a lot going on. I believe that, like, the drama that happened before, I'm not doing none of that stuff now, so we'll see. But, but you've admitted you have a long history of cheating, right? Yeah, I do, because, because I've never been happy. I've never been, you know, satisfied with the woman. And I've just always been a playboy. I've just always been running around, mm -hmm. hollering at every chick. Every chick lets me do Like, I've never had a chick that I had to go more than one date and have sex with. Like. Mm. So what do you mean by you get it your way? Because you told my producers that, you get it your way. Well, because I'll meet a chick, I'll pick her up, and by the end of the night, she's in my bed. Oh, 
Reggie, you are married now, so. Yes, I am married. I mean, that was a mistake. I got married, honestly, to get away from my baby mama. So I actually just eloped and jumped in with the other chick, not realizing that it's hard to get unmarried. <laughs> like, it's not as easy. You can't just be like, all right, I'm done. So you have to go and get paperwork done. So when was the like, last time you were intimate with one of your exes? Um, the last time would probably be last year when we first got back together. Like so when you're we first saying got back together. April 2022 is when you two got back together. Yeah, somewhere around that time. I take notes. So April 2022. Yeah. So April 2022 was the last time y'all got together. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure we got to track dates here. We coming for facts. Do you struggle with staying committed to women? I don't struggle staying committed to women. Um, basically, what it is is. I have a problem because I think everybody else has the opportunity to cheat like I do. I'd rather cheat first. Mm. Or, or I'd rather break up and then oh. cheat and then try to get back together. Do you really want to get married to Cherish? Yeah, I do. Why? Uh, because I love her. She's you like, love she's, me. yeah, I do. I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready to be committed to one woman. I'm ready to show a woman that I can be faithful. Have I showed you that I'll be a good wife to you, honestly? Have I been there I for don't you? Know. Oh. She brought you food at work in the middle of the night while you was on the phone with your ex. She's I think she showed you a little something. She's not the only one something. that could bring me food at night, though. That's I, normal. I, that's normal? Yeah. There's a million other youths that can bring me food. So why do you want to marry me, then? Because I love who you are. I love you. But there's a million other me's. No, there's a po I mean, it's a possibility. Well, when we tried to reach out to your exes, you admitted to producers that you didn't want to involve them because you were involved with all three women at the same time. Can you explain what you meant by that? Um, all three, well, I mean, oh, uh, you don't have to cry. Yeah, I wasn't really involved with all three because basically it was like the end of a relationship branched in with the beginning of another relationship. Like, I wasn't done with one woman while I was getting to, to starting to talk to the next woman, so to the next relationship. So are you really sure that you want to be in a relationship with me? Yeah, I am. But why? Because really? I love you. I'm going to tell you the biggest thing that I'm going to be honest with you, outside of even the cheating allegation that hurt me for you, is you saying to a woman, there's a million other yous. Yeah. How can you say to a woman you want to marry, there's a million other you? Um, if there's a million other hers, then why is she special to believe that she's the one? Because they, I want to make the, I, I want to take the chance with her. Like, I can pick any woman to take a chance with. There's a million women in this world. You can't pick and decide which one is the perfect one. You don't know. You can jump in, and all you have is no, You're the about try. perfect, and I choose all you, you every is, day. Oh. Yeah. There are you. Are you I want, I want to ask you something. Do you, do you know that she has a million choices, too? Yeah, I do. And okay. I tell her that all the time. Like, I don't... No, I don't. She can do whatever she wants. They don't approach me. I tell her she can do whatever she wants. Because I make sure that I shut it's that possible down. possible that don't she's doing talk anything. To me. But she tells me, no, no, I'm not doing nothing, but I'm not looking through her phone. I I'm don't have... I don't... I'm not creating all of this drama. Well, let me tell you this. That's... Before I unlock your phone, because the phone is what you want so that you can have answers. If we get answers in this phone, that upset you or not what you want, what are you gonna do? We have to, we, I can't be with him anymore. He can think I'm cheating all he wants, cause I'm not. It is what it is at this point. Like he's gonna believe what he wants to believe. But I'm not cheating, so that's the main part of it. Mm -hmm. So why would I continue to subject myself to being cheated on and be accused of being a cheater? Okay. Well this is where the truth comes out. Cheers, you told, you told my Unlock the Phone investigators that you want to know the following things. I have a question, though. Sure. Both phones were supposed to be unlocked. Did you want to unlock your phone? I Randomly, did. her phone broke the it day before we came here. It didn't so randomly So who broke? seems like they're hiding something? My phone didn't randomly break. Who's I dropped what? it. And I then beat we it up. came out here from only my phone and being locked. Now, when I pass this, I'm going to still have a wonder of what she's doing. Who's lying? You are not telling the truth. And who's telling the truth? Do you know about this? We already got past that, so it can't be double jeopardy. This ain't a court of law. <laughs> Don't miss what happens next. Why did you do that? I want to see what she would say back.
if we get answers in this phone that upset you or not what you want, what are you gonna do? We have to, we, I can't be with him anymore. Okay, he can think I'm cheating all he wants, but I'm not cheating. Both phones were supposed to be unlocked. Her phone broke the it, day before we came here. It didn't so randomly who broke? seems like they're hiding something? All right, well, it's time to unlock the truth and unlock his phone. So Cherish, you want my Unlock the Phone investigators to find out if Reggie is still involved with a specific ex. Reggie, you denied it. My Unlock the Phone investigators searched Reggie's apps and he is not telling the truth. We found a deleted app with her contact info. It was active from June 2022 to February 2023. Mm. All right, Cherish. You want to know if Reggie is still in communication with his wife. Reggie says he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched your text, Reggie, and you are not telling the truth. There's an evidence bag right here. Everything on there she knows about, so. Okay, well, I mean, I'm, I can only go through what it is and what she asked for. All right. So we have highlighted communications. So the green is him. He said, I'm trying to take you out tonight for our anniversary. Did you know that he was trying to take her out for the anniversary? You did know that. He also asked for her to send him a picture of her ass. Mm -hmm. You knew this? Mm -hmm. He then said, I'll send you a photo of my... Uh-huh. Then he also said, I want my wife back. She sent that message. You sent the message saying, I want my wife back? From my phone. Yeah, I did do that one. Why did you do that? Because I feel like he do want to be with her, and mm -hmm. I wanted to see what she would say back. OK. So were you the also one saying that you would send naked oh, photos? Oh, no, I didn't say, I didn't do that part. No, that was okay. me, but was she, we already got past that, so it can't be double jeopardy. OK. <laughs> it can't. This ain't a court of law. <laughs> he feels like it. <laughs> OK. I mean, but what about her phone? OK. We got hold on, we're not done yet. We're not done with yours. Okay. All right, so we got those. So Cherish, you also want to know if Reggie is having inappropriate communications with any other women. Reggie claims he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched Reggie's text, and Reggie was not telling the truth. Um, we have another bag. Can I see it, please, with more text? Thank you. So this is from a woman. There is no contact in it, but just the number. It was deleted, and we found it through it. And it comes from a 310 number. It says, you give me some car sex. It says, yes. Do you know about this? It, it says, we, the other night on the Northeast. Who is that, Reggie? I don't know. We, we have Three. to go in. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll go in and look at it, and we'll see. Do you know about that? When was that? And when was this number. text sent? In October 14th. Of last year? Mm-hmm. The 2022. And we got together. April. No. It was October 14th. So you got together October April. October 14th. I was buying your son Bir the birthday decorations at that point. So what you mean? I was buying your son. We had, and we had I broke was, up at that time. No, we hadn't. Yes, we did. We didn't that break up until you your birthday. That was when you left. And you was supposed to, and it was only supposed to be and then you lied about that. That's, that gotta be who that is. That's not who, so that was, so that's who you had sex with in the car. I don't remember Northeast that. on October 14th. I don't remember. Is, that, who, is, is, that, where, is that where you were when I, when I looked in your, when I looked and I seen your location was at that spot? So I didn't but you were it. at the sex store. Remember, I looked at your, I looked at your, your no, location. No, I was, I was not at no sex store. Yes, you were. That's where you no, got the. No, I oh wasn't. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Whatever. So you got information. You know that there's been relationships. Some you said y'all talked about. Some that you're not, you're not aware of. At the end of the day, he is still married. You are getting caught up in, in, in drama. The choice is yours. You said to me, and these are your words. If I find out stuff I didn't know, I'm done because I know my worth. Right. 
I think. Um, Reggie, I think she's giving you her answer right there. I think she's okay. decided she's gonna end this relationship. I gotta tell you, Cherish needs to be cherished. She deserves it. You need to make the choice to be monogamous or you need to tell her straight up, that's not what I want. Because I promise you, there's a woman out there that will respect that and be down for that. Mm -hmm. But don't drag a woman in who doesn't want that because you just come in a cycle of pain. I wish you the best of luck and I really hope you take care of that woman right there. All right, everyone, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, so we can keep talking and growing. I love you all.